Hello once again and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a clipping oops, a clipping mask. For example, in this bottom left hand corner of this thumbnail, we have an image behind a shape. You might be thinking, okay, well maybe I just saved a JPEG and threw it up in the corner, which you could easily do, but let's say you have a placement of a shape that you like, but you don't necessarily like the placement of the image. If you have a JPEG, well now you're stuck with whatever is attached in the shape versus a mask where you can move separate elements around. So I'm actually going to just hide all of that. Though I know this kind of hurts our eyes, so ta-da, solid color. And then I'm going to use black for our shape. So in our tools, you select shape. I'm going to use a rectangle just because then I can make them as big as I want. So I'm just going to kind of draw a large rectangle. Then I'm going to drag this into the corner. This isn't a necessary step, but for our purposes, that's what we're going to do. So the next thing we need to do is then find a image that we want to put in place of this black. So then I can select place. I'm going to select OK because I don't want to screw up the proportions and make this a little bit bigger. So then I'm going to come over to my layers and see that this is the image that I have just imported and here is my shape. First I'm going to make sure I have my image selected. Then on a Mac I'm going to hit option and then I'm going to click. Now we can see that our image is behind the shape. On a Windows I believe it is the alt key that you would select. If I'm wrong I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. At this point we can now move this image around and resize it to wherever we want it to be without ruining the placement of our shape. Then once you've placed it in a way that you like it, select the green check mark and you are done. Then if you want to move the entire thing, you can just select your shape, click, and you can move your shape and then your background image stays where it's at. Now if you want to move both layers, then you can hit command or whatever the Windows equivalent is or hit shift since you're only going up one and then I can move the both of them simultaneously at the same time whatever in togetherness <laughs> so that is how you create a clipping mask this goes for text as well not just for shapes if you make a color gradient that you want behind some text you can do that as well you get the idea so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video you can give it a big thumbs up you can click right over here to subscribe to the respective channels and you can click right over here to see my previous video and as always i'll see you in the next tutorial Bye bye